Greetings from Eastern Nigeria and Dubai. Happy weekend. The update for this Saturday. Navy collaborate with maxed men to a rising community in Anambra State. That's the residents of Ogu and Yocha community in Ogun local government area of Anambra State have been terrorized. Have been terrorized. That is the naval, naval officers in Odegbe Onisha have been terrorizing the residents of this uh, community, Ogu and Yocha. Now, the people, the residents of the area have stated that for some weeks now, these security operatives have been coming to their houses. Doing what? Doing what? They will come with masked men at night. And, and, when, and when they come, when they come, they will point at the people there's the masked men will point at the people, then the navy will grab them. When they point at them, they will say they are members of the indigenous people of Biafra. They are members of Eastern Security Network. That's what the people will say. The masked men will say when they will point at them because they will cover their face and they will point at some persons at night, at night in their houses, in their homestead, and the navy will say, grab them, catch them. The ESN, the IPOB. Look at what the one of the chief, I think he said, uh, Chief Christopher Abomsale. Look at what he said. He said that the latest arrest through the use of the Max Pointers was the arrest of a lecturer at Wafuri's College of Education, Nsube. Say his name is Mr. Jude. Say, and three others. He said, I quote him now. The security operatives are working with a rival group in our community to suppress us over the kingship tussle that has turned the community into pieces. We are the Odua in council, people of Ogu and Yocha. Our problem is that the Nigerian Navy here in Odekbe, Onesia, are working with our opposition group. The opposition act as maxed pointers for the Navy and the Navy will arrest, label us IPOB and ESN members and detain us. We no longer go out presently because members of this opposition group are at the military checkpoints as pointers and whenever our people want to pass through the checkpoints, the opposition does the pointers, they are masked, they will point at us and the naval officers on duty will arrest us. Just recently, a US embassy convoy was attacked at Amiyi, which is not in our community, very far place. But the opposition told the military that we are the IPOB and the ESM members that attacked the, attacked the team and the Joint Security Tax Force stormed our community, killed one person that was not a member of ESN, set four shops ablaze and a house. In our community, because of Igwe ship crisis that has been lingering for years, there are two warring factions, the old in council, that is the entire people in the community, led by the oldest man and the Oliver-led group. We plead with the governor, Professor Chukuma Saludo, to come to our rescue by prevailing on the Navy to stop the constant arrest of our people and to release the lecturer who is not a member of ESN. The lecturer was returning from a peace meeting in the community when he was arrested by the Navy through a marked pointer and has been in detention for about two weeks now. End of quote. Now, this is what the people are saying. They say, Governor Chukuma Saludo, come and rescue them from the hands of these dead devil people. They say they are military people. Okay? But they are intimidating and harassing innocent persons. True. This is what is happening in Anambra State. In Anambra State. Now, another account from Chief John Adigwe. He said that, let me quote him now. He said, They are returning from a peace meeting when they were arrested through the use of pointers and labeled ESN members. These people arrested have no business with ESN, and their community is not a base for ESN as they claimed in their petition to government. Our case is Igwe ship crisis, of which the matter is in court. Governor Saludo, please prevail on the Navy to stop arresting and tagging us ESN in favor of our opposition group. What have, we, what have we done to the Navy that they should be biased in carrying out their national assignment? We plead for the immediate release of our son, 
the lecturer at Nsuba of Education, and others that were attacked ESN and the 10. We are law abiding citizens and have been in peace until the Igwe chip crisis came up. Some who thrive in crisis now use it to cause crisis in the community and label us ESN members. End of quote. And now the police command in Anambra State have been contacted, but they said they are not aware of the situation. Now, what are we not talking about? What we are saying now, what we are saying now is this that all we have been saying about the police, criminality, the military, this is Navy now. Navy, they are terrorizing people. They will tag them ESN, tag them IPOB. First and foremost, IPOB is not a criminal organization. IPOB is mainly working for the liberation of the entire Southeast and the old Eastern Nigeria from the contraption. That is what IPOB is doing. And ESN is for the defense of the entire Eastern Territory against the Marudin Fulani terrorists, masquerade as his men. The federal government has failed to stop them from destruction, they are wrought, from destruction, from invading communities, destroying lives and property and farmlands. Look at what's happening in Benue State, in Taraba, in Plateau, Southern Kaduna. Fulani Hesmen have invaded those places in their bid, unbridled quest to conquer what old man Danfodia started in the 17th century, towards the 18th. That's what they want to achieve. And they are rounding up the southern Nigeria, the way they have claimed. And so, the ESN said, let us defend our community. Let us defend Eastern Territory against this invasion. And that is what is happening. So for people to go and mark themselves and be going around pointing accusing fingers on their, on their fellow you know, community persons, this is unacceptable. The traditional ruler of this place, in fact, local government chairman, of this place should call these people to order. That is what we are saying now. These warring functions, they say they are, they are in Igwe ship Tozo for many years. What is the benefit of this Igwe? Of what benefit is this Igwe you are fighting for that you are killing yourself, you are bringing these uh, terrorists who say they are military to come and destroy your land and kill your people? Can you stop this nonsense of Tozo, of this Igwe ship nonsense, they call nonsense? You should be talking about how to leave the contraption. You should be talking about how to liberate our people from this mess we have found ourselves. From this mess, the British agents, you know, look at, you know, put us. And you are killing yourself. You are using military to kill yourself. It's unacceptable. And we are calling on indigenous people, indigenous authorities, not these government people, to come to the rescue of the people so that without this tension. So anybody who is arresting people saying they are IPOB or ESN, they are not criminals. IPOB are not criminals. They are not. Uh, so if you want to arrest criminals, go and look for criminals. Arrest those who are killing people. Arrest those who are destroying lives and poverty. Not innocent people who are on self-determination.